Hi friends we hope you all will go through our previous video on food fraud. Here is about food fraud vulnerability assessment. As we all are known, basically food safety management system is consists with three parts which are food safety, mitigation of unintentional accidental adulteration, food defense, mitigation of intentional adulteration, food fraud, mitigation of intentional adulteration. Here we are going to discuss about prevention of mitigation of intentional adulteration which are economically motivated. The two main types of economically motivated adulteration are sale of food which is unfit and potentially harmful, such as recycling of animal byproducts back into the food chain, packing and selling of meat with unknown origin, knowingly selling goods past their use by date, deliberate mislabeling of food, such as products substituted with a cheaper alternative, as an example farmed salmon sold as wild, or basmati rice adulterated with cheaper varieties. False statements about the source of ingredients, as an example their geographic, plant or animal origin. A general approach to prevent food fraud can be summarized as follows. 1. Conduct vulnerability assessment, including Know your materials and risks history, economic factors, geographical origins, physical state, emerging issues. Know your suppliers, manufacturer, broker, history. Know your supply chain, length, complexity, supply and demand arrangements, ease of access. Know your existing control measures. 2. Design mitigation strategy and implement mitigation measures. 3. Validate and verify mitigation measures, continually review food fraud management system. Ok, now let's see the each step in detailed. 1. Conduct vulnerability assessment. The organization should document, establish and maintain a documented procedure for food fraud vulnerability assessment. Identification of possible vulnerabilities are based on Likelihood of occurrence Likelihood of detection Profitability Therefore all information related to raw materials are categorized under them. Assessment of vulnerabilities are based on PRN score. You can scale the PRN score as your preference. In here I scale as below. Very likely or certain. Likely Fairly likely Unlikely or remote very unlikely. Based on the PRN value you can determine that your raw material is belongs to which category. Red color. High profile raw materials with a genuine and current possibility of adulteration or substitution. If rigorous controls are not already in operation, then urgent additional work is needed to ensure their integrity and to confirm that only genuine materials are purchased. Amber color. The raw materials may provide an attractive target for adulteration or substitution. The site will need to ensure that all identified risks are managed or monitored. Green color. Materials are unlikely to be a target for adulteration or substitution based on the current information. Reassessment should be completed if new information becomes available. Design mitigation strategy and implement mitigation measures. If the raw material falls on red or amber range, preventive measures should be taken strictly, while product falling on green range must be monitored and reassessment should be done if new information becomes available. Depending on the perceived risk and precise details of the supply chain, assurance controls may include Certificate of analysis from raw material suppliers that prescribe tests to demonstrate authenticity of the material. Raw material testing. Depending on the assessed risk, this could include positive release testing or periodic verification testing. ELISA and DNA testing. Isotopic profiling to identify geographic or botanic origin. Testing against legislative definitions. Supply chain audits that include potential for fraud, adulteration, 
traceability and mass balance tests. Mass balance in critical points in supply chain. Validate and verify mitigation measures, continually review food fraud management system. System must be reviewed annually as well as in case of actual or potential failure of a preventive measure. Here is the vulnerability assessment template, for your reference. Go through these template, and if you want more information on this, please comment us. The next video is about ISO 22000-2018, updated clause on context of the organization. Hope that you got a clear understand on vulnerability assessment. Thanks for watching. And never forget to subscribe us.